Over the years, our mission of empowering and developing Latino men and women as leaders of character for the nation in every sector of the global economy would not have been possible if we could not have relied on people that inspire us, and more importantly, people who embody the values we hold close to our heart, courage, honor, and a genuine commitment to our community and our country. Today, we are honoring John Ramirez, the words courage and duty are no stranger to Ramirez in that for generations, his grandfather, father, and son have also served this country. During his 27 distinguished years of service in the United States Army, John held numerous positions, including squad leader, platoon sergeant, drill sergeant, senior advisor, first sergeant, division and brigade operations sergeant major, and battalion command sergeant major. John was then assigned as the Command Sergeant Major of the United States Army Accession Support Brigade. As a country, we are sincerely grateful to veterans for their bravery in defending our nation. I am the grandson of a soldier, the son of a soldier, the father of a soldier. I am a soldier. We should never forget the sacrifices of proud Latino men and women who served their country, and oftentimes, never received the recognition or the appreciation that they earned and deserved. Nor should we ever forget that etched on the tombstones at Arlington National Cemetery are thousands of fallen warriors with Spanish surnames. And we should never forget that 25% of the names on the walls on the Vietnam Memorial are engraved with Latinos who served at a time when the Latino population was only 5% of the U.S. population. All served with honor and dignity, and their sacrifices epitomize the true essence of service to country. As members of the Latino community, we can honor them by fulfilling our responsibility in service of our country. For you, the students and professionals of Alpha, I cannot stress enough the importance of service to country and remind you that service is not isolated to or the sole responsibility of those in uniform. Each of us have the responsibility to do our part for our country, for our communities, for our organizations, for our families, and for ourselves.